it's very important in life we make good nutritional decisions. It's one of those lifestyles we need to focus on. Your body will run as good as the food that you place in it, and you need to keep that in mind. Why do we eat? Well, it's a mechanical and nervous reaction. The mechanical side of it has to do with whether the rugae are touching one another. The nervous side is whether a message is sent to your brain. Let's look at the stomach and I'll show you. Here in this cross section of the stomach, we have these uh, build up areas that are white, and then we have the uh, pink or reddish areas in between them. These build up areas are the rugae, and as you see these spaces between, if nothing's there, they can fold up on one another a little bit and touch. When the uh, areas the rugae touch one another, their nerve endings that are on the outside become irritated. And this sends a signal to your brain saying that, and you interpret it as, I'm hungry. If they uh, do not touch over a period of time, that the message will no longer be sent to your brain, and therefore you'll, you won't want to eat. You won't feel like you need to eat. Again, this is a delayed reaction, so you want to be very careful at times like Thanksgiving when we have a tendency to stuff food down our, really quickly before our Rugae has had a chance to uh, no longer be irritated, the nerve endings, and therefore we won't feel hungry. So, why do we make food choices? Well, our appetite dictates the uh, food choices we make. Naturally, as you see here, we have uh, three, three tastes that our body wants. Really, the reason why we have sugar is because your body wants to make sure you eat a balanced diet, and the real reason why it wants sugar is because of fruit. Fruit would balance that diet. A society has known you have that taste for sugar within your taste buds and therefore they put processed sugars and stuff like that out there that you'd eat to try to satisfy that need. Fat. Um, with fat, we used to store fats in order to go on hunts. It goes back from many years ago and, uh, and now uh, society has a tendency to give us all these saturated fats and these trans fats, all these different things to try to satisfy that taste so that we'll buy their product. And we also have a taste for salt and that's because we need the electrolyte salt in order for our muscles to uh, function properly. So be careful the uh, sources that you consume in order to satisfy that need of sugar, fat, and salt. Remember, discipline yourself. Learn to like good foods. Practice it. Um, it's a lot easier to teach a baby these things when they're young, a kid. I mean, say for example, you, you're feeding it spinach and the baby keeps spitting it out. Well, you can take a little bit of that spinach and mix it in with an applesauce or Hawaiian Delight and you just mix enough of it in it and the baby will go ahead and eat that. Over a period of time, you can cut back how much of the applesauce or Hawaiian Delight you're putting with it and eventually they'll develop a, a taste where they can, they can eat it and they, they, they don't mind eating it. The same way with you. If you have bad habits developed already where you don't like to eat vegetables or certain things, maybe you put some low-fat cheese on it so that you can stomach it down and slowly and gradually you cut back the amount of low-fat cheese or something else you place on it and then you develop the taste where you're, it's okay for you to eat it. You can learn to eat anything. The functions of food. Uh, food provides your body with the energy and heat. Um, we are mammals. We do give off heat to keep our keep our uh, core temperatures um, high. We do uh, need the energy, of course, to to thrive and survive. It also helps us with building materials to rebuild cells that we've lost and other such things. Helps us regulate all the body processes in our body, hormones, enzymes, all those things. The type of food you eat, you eat will determine the following. As you see here, how much energy are you going to have? Are you going to be tired? Are you going to be... Um, vibrant. Will you be at your ideal weight? And you have to look at your appearance and say, hey, am I, am I a little heavier? I, I need to drop some weight? Then you need to eat a little differently. Your immune system, will you be sick all, all winter or are you going to have a strong system and not have that happen? How well all your organ systems function in themselves? Will you reach your growth potential? And this growth potential doesn't just mean how tall you'll be. It also means will your muscles recover and you build more strength on your workout based upon how well you're eating. Here we have a food guide pyramid. We have these five food groups and you see plus one. We always want to stay away from that other food group if we can. If we looked at this in more detail, what we're trying to tell you is, is that 
here's the servings you need per day. Um, you need about six servings of some type of something from the bread group. This provides us with carbs and energy, uh, the more complex carbs, and we like for them to be whole grain if you can, for the most part. And then we have the fruit group, two servings there, the vegetable group, three there. You see, uh, we also have the meat only has two servings, so that has an ideal that, you know, you don't need as much meat as you need fruit and vegetables, and most people make a mistake with that. We also need three servings of milk, and if you're growing, you might need a little bit more than that if you're in a growth spurt or something of that nature. Also, it's a good ideal to take some supplement. There's a good chance, even if you're trying to eat a balanced diet, that you will not get all the vitamins or the, that your body needs, so therefore a good, a good all-purpose vitamin is recommended. And here you see the servings per day and some examples of some food choices that you could choose on this slide. Percent daily value. If we looked at a box of something, you know, some type of uh, something we purchased at the grocery store, you'd see a little the food label on it, and on the side or somewhere it'll have the percent daily value on it. This tells us what percent of are you taking in of that nutrient. Uh, it's based on 2,000 calories, and that percent also is based on serving. So you got to pay attention. What's the serving? size for this box of whatever I'm eating and how much of it, am I, what percent of that am I eating? You may be having two servings of it. If it's 15% of calcium for one serving and you're eating two servings, then you're getting 30% of the calcium you need based on a 2,000 calorie diet for healthy, healthy adults, average healthy adults. Remember, if you're a larger person or you're more athletically inclined, you're probably going to take in more calories. Again, smaller person, less less calories, and also don't forget if you're pregnant, your nutritional needs will change too, or you're sick. Here we look at that again at that label, a little more detail. I'm telling us exactly where to find this information at. The ingredients are also listed down at the bottom, and if you, they're supposed to be listed in the what it has the most of would be the first thing, and what it has the least of is the last thing in descending order. And here it is blown up. And you've probably seen this before. Today, the current label looks like what's on the left. In the future, we'd like to develop a better label. There are a lot of people lobbying for that. Too many times we'll see on a product that it says it is whole grain. Well, or it contains whole grain in it. We'd like for them to say actually how much percent of that grain is whole grain. As you see in this uh, label to the right, it says 2% of this is actually whole grain. Well, that's not very good. And, and to be able to make the claim that you're whole grain, that's not, very, that, that's not really a reliable claim. We also want them to tell you whether or not they're over the amount of fat that you should actually partake per day. And, and they have to put on it high if you are. And they need to tell you not just if it's fat, if it's saturated fat. And we also want to know about sugars. If it's high in sugars, we want you to be able to see at 30 grams of sugar is high. That's 120% of the amount of sugar you need for a day. Also, a lot of products will throw caffeine in it to make you feel more energized, make you think, well, I ate that and I feel so much better. But really, that's just a false urge or rush your body is given from the caffeine, and that's not really good for you. So this is, and, and the bottom we also have in any typical foods that has in it that could be allergenic, you know, like, you know, wheat, eggs, soy, those are some typical ones. What the label doesn't tell you. Now, if we look at this, it doesn't really give us a true snapshot of saturated fat, added sugar, how much sodium it has. It says zero trans fat but it might be loaded with lots of other fat. They try to put made with real coffee. Okay, if it's made with real coffee, guess what? That's caffeine. That's going to give you a little pick-me-up and make you think that this is really good for me, and I really like this, make you want it more. They're going to satisfy all of your taste buds, the sweet, the salty, and the fat. We want to eat. We want to look at this healthy plate. This is a really good... Uh, representation of what your plate should look like when you eat. As you notice, fruits and vegetables make up half the plate size. 
The other plate, a quarter of it is your grains and a quarter of it's your protein, and then we add a water to it. Now, the healthy oils, sometimes we can have like an olive oil or canola oil on a, a salad or something of this nature, and we need some of those every once in a while in our diet. But for the most part, we need to cut back on the amount of proteins we get and add in more fruits and vegetables to our diet. Best food for you to eat, good old green leafy vegetables. Lots of good old green leafy vegetables because they have lots of minerals and vitamins in it that your body needs. They're just loaded with them. Thank you.